All right, Shalom. First off, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukal Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders. And Shalom to all the Akim out there preaching his word, truth, and sincerity. We're doing another brief impromptu, you know, a transit lesson. And we're just going to jump right into the scripts. Yeah. I'm going to start with 2 Peter 2 and 7. And deliver just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Yeah, and uh, Lot, if you if you read the book of uh, Genesis, okay, going back to uh, our forefather Abraham, all right, and Lot, which I believe was, um, uh, um, I believe was Abraham's um, nephew, if I'm not mistaken, okay. Yet uh, they basically they basically uh, went separate ways, okay. And, 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 and our forefather Abraham, you can go back into the, the, the account in Genesis, okay? On um, pretty much how they parted ways, all right? How the real substance and money was cattle, okay? Resources, all right? Cattle, gold, silver. It all goes into that, you know? So Jake, Jake can go, go, go uh, brush back up on, on that, um, on that story, you know. Yet the point being, okay, Lot chose to go into um, uh, to dwell in the land of, of, of Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, around the uh, the way of those those uh, five cities. Okay, those five wicked cities. All right, chiefly Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. So so when uh, Lot went over there, ultimately as time passed. You know, it was nothing but wickedness going on. A whole lot of Hamites being over there, being demons, committing, committing all sorts of uh, abominations, man. Incest, necrophilia, um, 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 uh, 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 bestiality, okay, adultery, sorcery. This is all. This is all worshiping their deities, man. You know. Because none of these heathen nations believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And, and according to Revelation 11 and 8, Babylon, America, here is spiritually what? Uh, 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 Egypt and Sodom. Because it has the same spirits and the same deities worshipped here, man. Okay? You know? So, so really, Lot is an allegory for the elect. All right? The things that were written before time was written for our learning, all right. You know, so so in 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 according to um, I believe uh, Ecclesiastes the first chapter, there's nothing new under the sun. We're we're going to do the same thing all over again. Yet it's it, it's worse on uh, it's, it's it's worse in this time because what knowledge has been increased, so wickedness has been increased on a whole nother level. Go ahead, brother. Well, we'll bring that out again. If that, if that was the end of the point. For, the, for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. That's the spirit. Hey, that's the spirit. I see where you got it from. Yeah, because we, we were talking um, through the, we, was, we, was, we were talking through the spirit. And really, you know, I was basically saying like, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like through the point because Jake, as you should be, is, is growing in the spirit, you know. And we're growing more fed up with, with, with being here. We're brothers from the Apostle Elders on down are crying out more, doing more lessons. All right, you know. We're, we're and and ex, uh, 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 getting more vexed because wickedness is being increased, man. We we, we hey man, it's, it says uh, hate hate the evil and love the good. Okay. Yet Jake at the same time Jake exercised patience, long suffering. We don't, we don't, we don't conform to none of this shit. We're not cool with none of this shit. All right. Yet we suffer it because we understand we have to. Hey, the heavenly Father suffers all, all, all these things, and, and because what he's he's subject unto his prophecies, his word. Okay. So the Lord has to suffer all this as well until until the prophecy be, be fulfilled. And we're in the year of prophecy, and we're in the time of prophecy, and that's why the prophets. And the prophecies are speaking uh, 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 more than ever now, man. You know, you got it, brother. 
Yeah, I know you got some. Good. When you out here being around these people though, like it vexes your yeah. your your soul because you you gotta listen to the wicked shit that they talk about. Yep. You're we're in a whole different mind frame compared to two two thirds of any other Babylonian in Babylon. When you out here in your day to day walk and you coming across people, you try to have a regular conversation. It always steers to the left because that's what that's where they that's where they are. They on the left hand side. They they're sat, sat, um, satanic. Yep. And that's. So it, 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 it vexes it vexes you because you're you trying you on the right hand side you trying to you're living a righteous lifestyle trying to follow the words of how about shimmy out shy and you want to just do right and then these other people they're just doing nothing but wickedness and they they're comfortable telling you that and and and, and, and that's that's the balance of this uh of this thing because the how about shimmy out shy is, is, is all about balance you have good versus evil righteousness versus wickedness okay and all these people are with wickedness, man. That's why, like, oh, I'll bring it out real fast. Real fast. Backing you up, if, unless you have more of that. Go ahead. Right here. This, this, you, you can go into it, brother. Okay? This is 2 Corinthians 6 and 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together right. with unbelievers. That's unbelievable. what I was going to get. Oh, go you ahead. see the spirit? Because you've been pulling precepts I was going to get. That's the spirit. It says, this is 2 Corinthians 6 and 14. Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Yeah, you unequally yoked because y'all not on the same page, man. You're not supposed to. You can't be together with unbelievers, man. How can? You, how could you? Yeah, it's not possible. Yeah, that's why it says be not unequally yoked with unbelievers, man. In the Most High, hey, a false balance is an abomination before the Lord. You know, yeah. so that's that's unequal. That's yeah. unbalanced. Can, you know? can two come together? At least they be agreed. You know, we can't. You can't. You can't get with somebody who's wicked. They, you know, a worldly, a worldly, a wicked worldly person. They, they're cool with being cool with you. Yet, they, they're, they're bugged out. So they don't know what they're doing. They're doing wicked. In, in, they're, um, in, in, they're wicked in ignorance. But us, we know that you're wicked. We don't want to be around you, man. I don't want. We don't want to listen to no, no dark shit. No, no wicked shit. That these people talk about because it's all of the, all, all anything they talk about is contrary to the words of Yah Basham Yah Yeah, and all that's going to do is what further vex you in an attempt to put demons on you because it's a spiritual battle good versus evil, righteousness versus versus wickedness. You know, they're talking about folly, all right? They're talking about perverseness, you know? And those demons, those thoughts, those conversations weighs on Jake's spirit, all right? You know, it just don't lead. Like you just plug it out no that demon fucking attempts to to, to 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 work on your on your on your mind man you know and that's a part of the trials and the tribulations man you know that's hey man that's a part of the the the, the fiery darts of of, of the uh of, of satan really you know and and, and that and that's for 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 for, for, for guys that's that's really wanting uh for guys that's being around people in this world more than they need to you know abusing the world and not using the world okay you have certain people you know you got to be around your co-workers or you may have certain people you there's a certain jakes you're, you're cool with at work or, or whatever you know or whatever okay and you have to deal with them while while maneuvering through this matrix yet yeah, you shouldn't be overextending yourself man and, and getting comfortable like oh yeah cool so yeah, we about to, we gonna chill after work and making plans. What the hell? Yeah, basically, yeah, you basically kicking it with them more than what's necessary. Yeah, because if you at work and all that, that's that's at at the job. But outside of the job, why are you kicking it with this nigga? You know, he's not doing anything. He's not. If it, it's not like he's a cool guy that actually has spiritual conversations, how is that profitable unto you, man? I can see if you're at work, okay, or or you know what I mean. Or some 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 way that the Lord is um, is is causing you to find favor in that man's eyes because you find favor in the heavenly Father's eyes, and being able to utilize him for the for the uh, the resources, the carnal resources that you need out of him, or, or you know, the Lord allows that to happen. Yet you overstepping that, you just like you know, you're just doing stuff that you don't need to be doing. And it's not beneficial, nor it's not it's not it's not profitable for your spirit, nor the edifying 
of the body nor your salvation, man. What what the hell you doing with a Well, let's keep going. It's like the saying goes, like you are the company that you keep. Yeah. If you're hanging around somebody who's a simple, like a simple nigga in the world, that vibration gonna rub off on you. Yep. You want to be around people that's like like the scriptures say, be around people like minded, hey, man. Be holy, separate, all right. <laughs> holy, uh, holy as much as possible, man. Separate, separated from these people. It says, uh, 2 Corinthians 6 and 14, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? Yeah, what fellowship have you with a wicked-ass person in the world, man? Yeah. Because there is no fellowship with that, man. Like I was saying, that vibration going to rub off on you. You're going to be like the brother was saying, you, they, them thoughts going to be stuck in your head because that vibration is rubbing off on your ass, man. Yeah. You staying around that person, listening to them all the time, and then next thing you know, those kind, those those thoughts that that nigga would think about is popping up in your head, or certain shit that that person says is popping in your head. Yeah, cause it's all ultimately it's demons, all right, it's spirits, you know. So the spirits that that and the demons that that person has on them, they're pressing it off on you, you know. And no, don't think that those demons are uh, they just disappear. No, they're lingering, they're lingering around, just like it says in uh, in the New Testament, man. That that. That that house, which is your body being swept swept clean, you know that old demon. When you put on that new man and Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, hey man, that old demon didn't disappear. That demon, that that unclean spirit that you once had on you in the world, hey man, that shit's still lingering around like a fucking like a fucking J, like a hobo, all out in front of your house, circling around, plotting. Getting homies, getting friends, like yo, we gotta get in here, man. It's the spot, you know. It it ain't it, it didn't go nowhere, man. So though, these same demons, it might be it might be have, you know, the, the same demons that you the unclean spirits that you may have had, the unclean spirits with uh, as far as like lust that you may have, uh, or whatever, like basically you know, being a demon, being a heathen, being a gentile mind state. All right, whatever you you might want to eat pork all the damn time, you know, get lineups, tattoos, commit adultery, like oh, whatever, you know. Yet those same demons, okay, comes to hunt you, okay, and they can come through these type these people, and they can even come with more of a higher level uh, of of um, temptation, man, because it's all it's all the tempter, it's all Satan. Okay, the spiritual demon Satan through the left hand side of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's all a temptation, man. It's all a trial, uh, trial of our faith. So why would you want to tempt the Heavenly Father above that which you're already being tempted and it tried? Why would you want to further be around niggas? Just like remember that remember years ago with that camp, what was it, Mississippi? The whole camp got through. The whole camp was through. I believe they got they yeah, they they was out of there ultimately. Yeah, it was the one guy. I remember he showed up. He, he came out the story how he was chilling with the nigga, in, a nigga in the world, yeah, a nigga friend in the world. Adultery. Yeah, he it was supposed to be two women there. You know, his nigga friend was gonna have the woman that had a husband. And he, and he knew about it. Yeah, he knew about. And he it. He still cool. went to go hang out. Yeah, and then it, he says, according to this nigga story, he said uh, the the adulterous bitch had a friend, so he was sliding through. And then when he pulled up, the nigga flipped the story on him. And I was like, yeah, man, she just by herself, but yo, she down. And this nigga, his reprobate, and that's why, that's why the spirit, hey man, a lot of you niggas, man, a lot of you niggas that claim yourselves to be men of the Lord, okay? That claim yourselves to be in great millstone, all right? Claim yourselves to be in order in the spirit, man. And you, hey man, the spirit, hey man, the Lord, the Lord gonna search you niggas out, man. As, as as he's been doing, man. Okay. Lo and behold, what he, next thing I knew, I was committing adultery. What the fuck? Just like the like scripture say, I believe in Proverbs. Man, I'm bringing it up. No matter of fact, I'm talking too much. I'm gonna bring it out. Let's see. Let's see what the scripture say. He ain't bring this. He ain't bring no precepts out when he was. He 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 said that he committed adultery. Did he? <laughs> and it all. What did it all start from, though? You started chilling from him niggas. chilling with niggas, man. Yeah. And a nigga, and he knew that it was a wicked scenario going in, and you still put yourself around that. Yep. 
Yep. Why would you even put yourself in a predicament like that? That just shows that you like um, understand it. Cause you, you, why would you? First off, you hanging around a nigga, and then on top of that, you, you're going in and hanging out with a nigga that's knowingly committing adultery. You know that it's the adultery, yet you're still gonna not say shit about it and go hang out like around that shit. And then what happened with him? He ended up committing adultery himself. This is Proverbs six and thirty-two. But whoso committed adultery with a woman lack of understanding. And that was a pit, the epitome of lack of understanding, because you, on top of that, like your, your you boy, you have the knowledge. Your boy just Fuck. got done with the bitch, and uh. then, and then you going right after he got done with her. But you, but you call yourself in great. They, they once called themselves, I believe, Great Millstone, Mississippi, if I'm not mistaken. You know, you call yourself being a Great Millstone, and a man, and, and that's just like the apostle said. That's just that's just a, 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 a name, okay. To differentiate between the camps. Yeah, you call yourself to be a man of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, going on the highways and hedges, condemning, alright? Condemning the wicked, okay? The adulterers, the murderers, the sorcerers, all that. And here it is, your ass kicking it with them and partaking in the same things. You know? And the Lord is gonna start killing you niggas, man, real soon. Coming real soon, man. Like your favorite fucking movie, okay? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to that uh, to the precept we, uh, we initially had. You know? The spirit, cause man, the Lord, hey, the, the Lord, the Lord is tired of you niggas, shit, man. You know, tired of bearing you niggas. All right. Really tired of your niggas lingering around. Yeah. Man. Trying to, you doing your dark shit in the in the, um in the in the dark. Yep. And then you try to act cool when you're around brothers, basically. The whole time, like the, the other scripture, brought, like the scripture you brought up, unequally yoked, yoked with unbelievers. You don't, you don't believe because you're not listening. You know, if you believe, you would, you would be following the commandments, man. You wouldn't be doing. It's certain things that you're just not gonna do. Period, man. There's no, no excuses about certain shit. Especially like that, committing adultery or being around a nigga that you know finna commit adultery. Just that's just a, a, a scenario. One scenario. It's just certain things in general, though, that you shouldn't be doing. And it's a lot of niggas that do those things, and they try to keep it secret because they know that it's not right. Because you, if it, if it's something that you wouldn't feel comfortable telling the next brother, nine times like more, more than likely, it's not right. Yeah. If it's something that you you would be like you would never want to like tell like you know, it's certain. Of course, it's certain things that you don't need to say yet. A lot, a lot of the things that do do that it ain't right, you know. When it's like that, yeah. Because we're brothers are like open with each other. We like an open book with each other. There's nothing that we need to hide because we're not doing anything going off. And you can tell when a brother's doing something off in the spirit. The spirit just reveals it in due time. This is back in Second Corinthians six and fourteen. Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? And what concord have Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, with uh, Bilal? Yeah. Or what part have he that believeth with an infidel, an unbeliever? Yeah. You, know? you don't believe if you're not, like I say, if you're not, if you're not if, um, following the commandments, you obviously you don't believe if you're still going off. Especially on something that as simple as not committing adultery, or it's a lot of things that you can easily not do that guys are doing, and that's the spirit, and that's why, that's why what uh, through the spirit, the Lord is getting those type of guys away from the men of the Lord because unequal, they're unbelievers, they're fake, they're they're acting like they're believers when the whole time they're 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 hypocrites, you know, yeah. And it's starting, it's starting, it's starting to manifest, man. You can only fake it for so long, you know. Because the scriptures say, "A little leaven leaven up the whole lump." The whole time you're trying to act like you're not leaven when you are, but the, the spirit, go, the spirit gonna get you out of there. Yeah, just like uh, the uh, the elder brother Yahweh Cobb brings out, just like the zombie movies, man. You try, to, you got that guy and try to act like he wasn't bitten by the zombie, you try to cover it up and shit, act like you're cool. Until eventually, that 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 uh, that plague, that disease, 
hit kicks in his bloodstream, and then he just totally like bug out and turn into a zombie to where the point he's not the same guy that you once knew. He's not that same brother that you once looked at or, or thought you, thought he was a brother, you know? Yeah. The whole time he was a hypocrite. Or he's just a bug out, you know? And this is just, you know, this is just brothers a hey, speaking speaking in the spirit, man. Cause this is scriptural. These are their prophecies, man. And this and, and, and this is this has happened and this is to happen even more, man. Cause we're at the time of the end. Alright, you're gonna have guys being faint hearted, you're gonna have guys fall out, you're gonna have more traitors, okay? You're gonna have guys turning in brothers to, to Esau, alright? You think and turn turning it, it ain't it ain't just enough to like turn it into other camps, okay? No man, these guys are working for Esau. Yeah, man, there's nothing they can do because, all right, this was set in stone, man. This this is all of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai. Bashem Ra all right? This is not a man, all right? That's why this has, this has yet come to naught, okay? And hey, man, this thing is going to continue to prosper, man, until the prophecies be completed and fulfilled, all right? So fuck all you demons, man. All right, death unto you all. You can't stop this, man. And man, the spirit is already finished. You know, yeah, I wish I already conquered this place, man. And we're here to uh, Lord's will. Hey, man, see it, see the, see it to the end. Okay. Yeah. So, hey, man, that was it was just like it was like I said when we first started, quick and prompt too. We was talking in the spirit, so we did a video in the spirit, man. Yeah. And with that, we you know. We have Lord willing, the lesson was edifying. We're going to give all praises again to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakal Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders. And Shalom, Tala Hakim out there preaching his word, truth, and sincerity. Okay. Shalom. Shalom.